www.ebbyturns.com and a Twitter feed that I've also reserved in the same name, so don't go there because there's nothing there. But like I said, it's my dream. So I'm telling you about it before it exists because I really need your help. To make this dream happen, I need to find some businesses that either have a great internship program and has been very successful in creating new opportunities and new jobs for their interns after their internship is finished, or businesses, and actually this one is actually slightly more important for my dream, businesses that are just realizing that having an internship program within their organization is going to be a very important pipeline for jobs into their company. And it may sound really strange right now to talk about scrambling for, for people, for jobs, because that's really not the atmosphere we live in right now. But the truth is, especially in Iowa, and particularly in rural Iowa, this recession that we're in right now, that we're just coming out of, is hiding an incredible labor shortage. Um, there, she's, Tara, is nodding her head. Yes, a bunch of those baby boomers are gonna be retiring soon, right? And then there's going to be a huge um, outflow of knowledge and talent, and really what we're looking for is to people, for people to come in and fill that. I was at a huge advantage because we have 8,000, um, an 8,000 person surplus of people that come into Iowa for college than we have shipping out of Iowa. So here we have all these wonderful college students, some of whom are from out of state, we have a real opportunity to engage them for the four years that they're in Iowa. The best way to do it is through internships. Um, actually, we should be starting earlier than college. We should have internships for high school seniors as well. And this is one thing that I learned with uh, working with my own kids to try and pick their career. Um, have you ever noticed that kids don't automatically know what they want to be when they grow up? And there's real... <laughs> This is, it's a huge problem. There's not enough guidance counselors in high schools to be able to talk to these kids to figure out what their career goals are. Therefore, many of them start college because their parents make them, anyone have that experience? Without knowing what they want to do, and the number one you know, indicator is how many people drop out of their freshman year in college because they don't know what they want to do and they feel like they're wasting their time. So. To get people thinking about what they want to be when they grow up earlier, internships can really help with that. So here are the technology that I'm talking about, the website and the Twitter feed will eventually help connect students with internship opportunities in a couple of different ways. Number one, it'll allow companies to post their internship opportunities. It will allow interns to be able to see those opportunities. And what I'm thinking is some sort of database that allows them to put in their internship parameters ahead of time and then sign up for those parameters and then have the email, an email come to them with the internships that meet those criteria as soon as it's posted. So it's sort of like a sign up and forget it kind of thing. It'll provide students an opportunity to have real world experiences in the workplace. It'll help businesses learn how to run successful internship programs, which is hard. It's a very hard thing to do. Um, you really have to invest a lot of time and effort into it, and some companies just don't put in the time, unfortunately. It'll create a hub for businesses to post their internship opportunities. It'll provide interns advice, advice and support for having a successful internship. Um, like I was saying earlier, you're really not born with that knowledge. Somebody has to tell you, somebody has to show you, and somebody has to be a good example. It'll also, as I was mentioning, provide a pipeline for skilled talent coming into your company. And we all know, um, you know, you could have a perfect resume and lots of experience, but if you're not a good cultural fit with the company that you want to work for, the chances of you being successful in that first job are pretty much zero. So internships will give you that opportunity to assimilate to the company culture, have skilled professionals like yourselves help those new folks along with, in their new career and help them feel welcome. So that person will have a lot better chance 
to be successful. Drew's nodding his head over there right here. Half my employees started as interns. Yeah, see, okay, that's a good point. I want to ask um, how many of you were interns at one time? A lot. Would you say it helped you get that first job and feel comfortable? Yeah, I think that's, that's a shared experience. Um, unfortunately, Iowa is a little bit behind the curve as far as figuring out um, this internship problem. There's tax credits for businesses who give internships, but there's really nothing for the people who are looking for them. So I think it's a little backwards. I think we should be trying to help the interns themselves because really people are the capital in our, in our economy. People are the capital, not, you know, businesses have capital, people are really what we're looking for. Um, so there's a couple of different sides of responsibility here. One is with the companies and one's with the interns. So the companies, once they commit to this program, should be posting their internships to the site and most importantly, creating an internship program with goals and metrics. Um, there needs to be some sort of um, yardstick for success for the companies to know whether they're successful. The biggest one I would think would be to see how many of their interns end up being hired on when they graduate from college. I think that's the number one. Um, does anyone know that most unpaid internships are illegal? <laughs> Newsflash, they are. Um, for an internship to be unpaid under federal law, it almost has to have absolutely no benefit to the company. So it would be an altruistic internship where a company is just inviting interns to come in, learn about their business, but the intern would actually have to do absolutely no work that benefited that business mm -hmm. in any way. So if you hear about all these fabulous unpaid internships that your friends are getting in New York City and paying to get them, plus they're paying rent mm -hmm. to get them as well, illegal. They shouldn't be doing that. No company should be doing that. And I want interns to know that, and I want you to know that, so that if you work for a company that's hiring interns in this way, um, so you can have that knowledge, and also to know that it's really not fair. It's not fair to the intern to do that. Um, it kind of creates a, a false competitive environment that they really shouldn't even have to be subjected to at that age. Um, we also need to do research in the state uh, what I would suggest is um, interviewing college seniors and then all the way through college and then five years out of college to see how that internship helped. So it's pretty fairly easy to get a survey in front of those groups of people. So that's what I would suggest and that should be um, the state of Iowa, workforce development, um, and any, any um, state agency that is uh, involved with the workforce in Iowa then the interns have to be willing to commit to the process as well. They have to get involved in the community while they have their job and participate in the ongoing research process. I would love to hear from any of you if you have ideas about this project, and I would love to get the names of some companies that might be able to help get this research off the ground. Thank you very much.